Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. Gonna do Holy Diver today. First Dio song I've done on the channel, so I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. I've gotten a lot of requests of them over the years, but uh, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, I've, I've slowly been convinced. All right, so let's. <laughs> I, I've always thought they were great. It's just like uh, I don't think we were allowed until recently. So um, now let's. Uh, we're in standard tuning here. Before I jump into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. And uh, check out my Guitar Academy at guitarlessons365.com. It's got all my guitar courses. Um, it's a really cool uh, place to go if you want to learn how to play guitar and if you like what I do here on YouTube and want to support it. All right, I'll see you there. So let's um, let's start with this main riff. Pretty simple riffs, except the how the riffs are laid out. It kind of there's a lot of variations as I go through. Um, so I have a crazy cheat sheet in front of me here with just a bunch of numbers, not tab or anything, just a bunch of numbers, so I can I know how many times everything's at. Uh, but if you know the song well um, and you listen to this a lot, you could probably just follow along by ear. You know you know what's going on. All right, so that's probably the better way to do it anyway. So we have this. So that's, uh, most of these are going to be off the A string power chords here. So we have the C power chord at the third fret. Three, five, six, and then back. Again, three, five, six. Down to the one. So it is. And then back, start over. Basically, repeat what we just did back down the first fret. So it is. All right, and then just go three, one, three. All right, so then we kind of repeat what we just did, except for the very ending. Instead of doing this, we have this. So that's just that three, one, and then grab the fourth foot on the low E string power chord. And then go back up. You're gonna grab the first fret power chord, that B flat power chord. Just back to start over with the verse, and the verse is like this. So um, we have basically uh, this kind of just triggering on that C power chord. And then it goes to this A flat power chord. But you hear this on top. So there's a couple ways to get that in one chord shape. I don't know if that's overdubbed on the recording. If you've got good, you know, if you can control your index finger, like the pressure across it, uh, you can have it play the, this bottom note and then play the top top two notes without playing that G string or muting that G string. So then when you add the six on the A and the D there, you basically, if you, if you, leave, if you can mute that G string like that, my, my, my index finger is like doing a little arc. So I'm holding the notes down here and then on the bottom, but not in the middle. So it mutes that G string, and it makes that just a big E flat power chord. So you can do it like that, or you can play this with your thumb, and right here, the six is the same way, and then grab the uh, two notes on top with your index finger, and let the top of your index finger just touch the bottom of that G string to mute it. So this was pretty easier, actually, less movement. Space. Thank you. 
then down to the B flat, and then we go down to that A flat chord. Just kind of chug on that and then start over. Back to the A flat. A big chord there. And then it goes C, B flat, and back to C. All right, so all together we have this. So the first verse, they, they're like I said, they're all a little bit different. So we have this. Down to the A flat. And start over. Then back up to C. Just go C, B flat, C. It's having C, B flat, A flat. And then we have the So that's that big A flat power chord. Grab the B flat chord, kind of grab it to go back up top, and then it starts back with the main riff. basically the first half of it that we did in the intro. And then you're going back to the verse. This verse is slightly uh, different. Uh, this one is like this. All right, so it's a little bit different ending there. There's a little tritone in there. So uh, during the verse, second verse, this is all the same. But here, when we get down to the A flat, you don't just stay there. It takes that B flat to come back up to start over. So you kind of, they hit that B flat real quick. Uh, so that's a little bit different from the first verse. And then back. That's the same as the first verse, the second half of it. But now, the gotta get away part right there, we have that same chord to the B flat. And then we play the, this is kind of, kind of hold this B flat longer. And then you play, move up to the second fret there on the A while still holding that third fret of the, uh, on the D string. Create that tritone. And then that takes us to the bridge. All right, so um, now we go, so that's just the C power chord twice, the B flat twice, the A flat twice, then the A flat again. Go back to that B flat, so it kind of climbs back up. All right, then we st start repeating. Except now, instead of going to this A flat, we go to a G and just hold it. It's a G major, so you can actually add, add that fourth fret on the G. This is a full G major. Then back to the B flat to start over. And now the third time through, it's the same as the first. So let me play, um, uh, so we had the first time through. Uh, the third time, the same as the first. And then the fourth time, just that C, B flat, to the A flat, just hold that. And then it goes back to the um, uh, the next verse, which is slightly different than the first two. So we have this. All 
right, so that kind of uh, takes us to the solo rhythm, so it's kind of changes different. So it stops on that that A flat there. So uh, we basically have the same that kind of build. Or grabs the B flat going back up to C. stop stalls out on that A flat there and then we have the solo rhythm and a solo rhythm uh, can be a little chaotic to understand but let me play through it real quick for you and then I'll hopefully I'll be able to help you understand it a little bit easier so we have this So that is going to be just mostly power chords on the A string. So that B flat to C power chord, stop, and then go the E flat to the C, so the sixth fret to third fret. And then you're going to play the third fret twice, a little bit different rhythm. So I have this. And then back to that six three. All right, quick little shift, and then this is kind of the first 25% of it. And then we have six, five power chord. You let that ring out. So we have this for the first uh, time through, basically. All right, now the second time through is similar, except when we did those two threes, you don't do that, you just do one, three again. So the second time through is this. So right here, just the normal one, three, and then the same thing there. And then the ending, instead of going six, five, you go six, eight. So we have this for the second time through the chords. All right, now the third time through the chorus is the exact same as the first time. Those two threes. And then we have this, the rhythm starts kind of going on the low E flat power chord here off the low E string, fourth fret, then up to six, again. Then you play the that six five power chords off the uh, on the A string, and then back to the fourth fret, and then we have this little ending here. So that's the six five on the A, then play C the C power chord to the B flat, and then that takes us back to the verse. So we have this. Kind of like the uh, uh, what was that? The third verse there? No, like the uh, second verse. All right. But here, when we do that, I gotta get away. It's kind of extended. And B flat and back to the. Then does that tritone, and then it goes back to the main riff there. Um, and this main riff at the end of the song is, has a little bit different variation here. Uh, it looks like this. 
All right, so that's a little bit different. So we had this little thin main riff, just like the beginning. Right here, we are a little bit different. We start going back with that same rhythm. We go, then it goes up to six, five, and then start over. So I like the beginning, and now it's different. Repeat. All right, so now that I've done all the rhythm guitar parts, I'll go back through and I'll teach you guys a solo real quick. So let me play it through it real quick and then I'll show you how to play it note for note. Here we go. So this first phrase looks like this. So that's a double stop here at the 10th fret on the B and the G string. So you kind of pick those, bend them towards the floor a little bit. Back to the 8th fret double stop on the G and the B. Back to 10, back to 8. And then you play uh, 10 on the D string, and then 8 on the D string twice. And then we have this. So that's going to play 8 on the D and the G, slide down to 7, slide down to 5, and then you pick those again. Then we have this. So we have that, this eight, six, five on the uh, A string. Slide down the string and then back up to the eighth fret. So this. And then we, what we do is we play eight on the G to 10 on the D. And then back to the 8th fret on the G and the D string together. Take those a few times, slide down to 7. So we have this. Alright, next phrase. So that right there, that last note is out of the key. That's why it sounds kind of weird. Um, so it's weird to find that harmonic, but um, so we're gonna play, gonna hammer on uh, eight to ten real quick on the D, and then back to that eight on the on the uh, D string. Then you play ten, nine, eight, six on the A, and then back to the eighth fret with a bend and release. Madison some harmonics. There might be harmonics in the recording there as well. So then we go up at the 11th fret here on the D string. And I can find this harmonic with uh, kind of just right off over my middle pickup there. Pinch harmonic there. So. This kind of comes out of nowhere. But then we have this.
So that is going to be a bend at the 18th fret on the high E string. And then you're going to play 16, 15 on the high E, then 16, 15 on the B. Then you're going to play 18, 16, 15 on the B. Then play 18 on the high E, 16, 15 on the B. Hold that, and then we have a quick little lick that goes. So, after you hold this for a while, we do this. Plays 18, 16, 15 on the high E and the B. Then we just play 17, 15, back to 17 on the G. When you get to this, the G string, you slow down a little bit. So yeah, I bid at 17, 15, 17 on the G, and then into a huge bend, release, pull off to the 17, I'm sorry, I'll pull off from 17 to 15, over to 17 on the D, and then back to uh, 15 on the G, so we're this. All right, then we have this next phrase. All right, so we have this, uh, Eight, nine, eight on the B string. Over to eight on the G. To eleven on the B string. So it is. Then we play eight, seven on the G. Then you play ten, eight, seven on the D. I'm oh, sorry, on the G. Then over to 10 on the D string, and then work your way back up the G string. 7, 8, 10. You hit these each a couple times, so this. And then that's when the rhythm picks up to the. Uh, we have this. So it starts with just So let me just kind of simplify this for you. We're going to start with just 8 and 9 by itself on the There's a lot of pinch harmonics in here by the way. So 8 and 9 on the B string. And then we have the actual pattern that starts which is just pick 9 do a quick Hammer from 8 to 9, pull back off to 8, over to 10 on the G, back to 8 on the B string, and then play 8, 7, 8 on the G string. So we have this. So that's the pattern that he's repeating, but it's confusing because he starts with that 8, 9 first. So we have this. So after that 8, 9, then we start that pattern we just learned twice. And then we start it again. So we basically did it three times and then we put this little ending. This little 10 on the G, 10, 8 on the D. So we have this. All right, and then we start over again. Do that same look again. And then the next time around, it's a little bit different. We have this, instead of doing this, it does this. So we do that same thing. It's the same up to that point, but then it goes 11, eight, nine. And then back down to eight. So we have this all together. Look again, and the variation. And then here, we go 
11, 10, 8 on the high E, then 11, 9, 8 on the B. And then what we do is kind of a fast look again across those same six notes. And it kind of works its way down the scale. It's kind of erratic, but it's like... Kind of sounds like that. So we're going... The first six notes is... Uh, 11, 10, 8, 11, 9, 8. So we have 11, 10, 8 on the high E, and then 11, 9, 8 on the B. Then you repeat those same three notes on the B. So, we have... so then we play 11, 9, 8 on the B again, and play 10, 8 on the G. And then go back up to the ninth fret on the B string and play 9, 8, then 10, 8, 7 on the G string. So we have this together, all together. It's just, think of it as three things. So we have this one, two, this first one, then the second one, then the third. So. So it goes by pretty quick, obviously. And then when we get to this, uh, on this seventh fret here, it looks like this. So we're kind of working our way up 7, 8, 10 on the, on the uh, G string, over to 8 on the B, then a few hits on the 11 on the B, and then 9 on the G, on the B string, and then we have 8 on the B, 10, 8 um, on the uh, G string. So we have And then we have a bend at the 10th fret on the G string, release down to the 8, and then a quick little to end the solo. So that's hammering 8 to 10, pull off the 8, and slide down to 7. All right, so that is it for Holy Diver. It's got a lot of stuff. It's, it's weird. The solo has got some challenging stuff in it, obviously, as well. But counting out where all the rhythm parts are happening is probably just as difficult, even though the chords and the rhythms itself are pretty simple. It's just that you just have to know the song really well by ear, and that's going to help you with that rhythm guitar parts. And then uh, just tackle that solo phrase by phrase, and hopefully you'll get it down pretty quick. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.